my gorgeous beauties. I cannot believe the end of September is arriving and I'm doing my September favorites already. Can you freaking believe it? Um, I just felt like I just did my August favorites video, so um, it feels a bit strange to already be picking some more favorites out. Um, but anyway, happy to share with you guys what I've been using this month, what I absolutely love. Um, I have a bit of a random mixture. I have um, beauty products some fashion um, and like just some other knickknacks that I purchased and have been using this month because I love them, obviously. And the first thing that I wanted to share with you guys though before I get to that is that I'm so excited to announce that I am the new fashion expert for the Stephen and Chris show. Woohoo! I love them! They are the two most wonderful people in the world and their show is absolutely fantastic. But I was just filming with them this morning. So I was really, really happy about that. Um, my first segment because I just filmed with them this morning will air next Tuesday or Wednesday around 2 p.m. on CBC so stay tuned for that um, for those of you that are out of the country if you google the Stephen and Chris show their website does have a lot of their online episodes as well so you'll catch me there sometime next week um, too and then I'll be with them throughout the season myself and some other um, fashion beauties so for my September favorites I think the first couple things I'll start with are the um, <clears throat> non-beauty related items. So the first thing that I picked up, um, for those of you that may or may not know, I'm a huge vintage geek. I love anything kind of retro and it doesn't mean I collect vintage items necessarily. Um, I don't always, I just like that kind of throwback feel and um, like old school things like books as opposed to ebooks and um, a vinyl as opposed to CDs or digital and so on and so forth. So it doesn't like go extreme. There's just some things that I, I just like. Um, so one thing that I purchased is this record player. How freaking cute is this? So this is a Crossley record player. Um, I bought this one through, oh, where did I buy it? Oh, eBay. Um, but you can go on their website and buy it too. They don't have the colored ones like this available on their website, I don't think, anymore. So that's why I purchased this one through eBay because there's tons of them. Um, it is $100, I think. Obviously, I don't have a record in here right now. But I love that it was pink because I'm super freaking girly and love anything bright and pink. Um, and have a lot of my mom's vinyl collection from um, after she passed away. So I remember listening to a lot of vinyl records when she was around and love music and there's something about records that I cannot get enough of. I love the crackling sound of them. I love the covers. I think they're so much more creative than today's. Um, and you know, the list goes on for me. It's got two little teeny tiny speakers in the front. Um, and then of course where you put the records, it plays all three sizes. And then it's got like the volume and all that kind of stuff. So I was really, really happy about this. Um, so it's been my big or bigger, one of my splurges um, for the month. And I'm so excited. This has been constantly playing um, anything from, you know, pop stuff. Um, I have JT's current record, but I also have, you know, old throwbacks like Michael Jackson's Thriller and the Bee Gees. And I have comedy uh, albums that were my mom's and all sorts of stuff. So I was really, really happy about that. The other two items that are unrelated to fashion or style that I purchased for this month, the first one is the Kate Spade Agenda. How freaking cute is this? White and gold, which for me is the end all be all. Anything white and gold, sign me up because I absolutely 100% want it. Um, I saw this on somebody's blog, I don't remember who it was, and the minute I saw it, I freaked out and started looking everywhere online for it. Um, and then later found it in our my local uh, Indigo and Chapters uh, location. For those of you that say, oh my god, you know, you're still using an agenda, yes, yes I am. The, I just love old agendas better. Again, maybe that's part of my vintage thing, or it makes me think of school, or I don't know, I just really like it. And then the inside, before every month, oops, I gotta flip two months. It has little quotes, like this one says, be mused, which I think is great, or September's was, oops, says, define your own classics. 
Um, I'm not going to show you the actual pages pages because I've already written on them, but this is a 14 month calendar so it started in August and then runs around to the end of next year so I thought that was kind of exciting. The other thing that I purchased um, that I've yet to find a picture for, I was actually with Ashley who you've seen in my past YouTube videos. We were milling around Target and um, actually she pointed out, because she knows how much I love my gold, um, she pointed out this beautiful little frame, um, so, and it is a metal, so you can kind of hear it like clang or whatever, and this was four dollars. I was very happy about that. So thank you Ashley. The first beauty product, even though it's not like in makeup, and this is going to be so weird, I don't even know why I'm showing this to you guys, but I have been trying to stay away from antiperspirants. I'm not a person that sweat sweats, um, unless I'm going to the gym or something, um, but I know antiperspirants aren't very good for you, so I thought I would try to wear a deodorant this month instead of an antiperspirant. Um, again, because I don't really, like, I don't sweat or whatever, um, so all I really need is, I guess, like, a smell blocker. Not that I'm smelly, but, like, you know what I mean? Everyone wears deodorant and all that kind of stuff, or antiperspirant. So, anyway, so I thought I switched to a deodorant, and this is so weird. I've never, <laughs> I don't even know what I'm telling you guys. I've never tried this company before, but this is Geodeo? G-E-O-D-E-O. -E -E I don't know. This is called Island, Island Isle? Island Isle? Kind of a cute little packaging, but the reason I'm showing this is because it is seriously the best smelling deodorant I've ever smelled in my life. Like most deodorants are like baby powder, vanilla, peach, passion, I don't know, something like that. But it smells like pina colada. Uh, like it's the best smell ever. I wish if there was like a Febreze or something like that I could put it in my house or like an air freshener because it's seriously the best smell. So <laughs> when I put it on my arms in the morning I'm like, oh so good. <laughs> it's so weird to me. I like that I love. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, you know that I'm a lash addict. I had my lash extensions in before. I took them off recently just to give my lashes a break, but we'll be putting them on again in a couple weeks. So in the meantime, I wanted to use false lashes because I like long, full lashes. And I have always been a fan of Ardell lashes. I've, helped, I've always used them among other brands, um, but had always used Ardell Demi Wispies. And I had done it for most brands, like the Demi Wispy or some kind of wispy kind, where it was, you know, thinner towards the inside and then it flared out and became thicker on the out, on that outer corner, sorry. And this time I ordered the Ardell Wispy Lashes, which I didn't even know existed. I didn't know that there was just like a regular wispy instead of a Demi Wispy. And these are, those are the ones that I'm actually wearing right now. So this is the Ardell Wispy Lash. So it's a little bit fuller. It doesn't quite, it, though it is a little bit smaller in here, it is quite large at the top of the lash. Still, like it's still quite um, thick. So that's what I like versus the Demi Wispy. I have a Demi Wispy to compare just to show you the difference. <clears throat> so you can see the Demi Wispies are a little bit shorter and they are a little bit thinner in the front and then the, the Wispy Wispies, the Wispy Wispies? What was that? So the Demi Lashes are a little bit longer, a little bit fuller which I love and because I have more of an almond shaped eye my eyes are a little bit smaller I guess I would say they're not super super round the wispies help brighten and enlarge my eye a little bit more so that's why I really like these ones so I've been using these constantly since I picked up a bunch of them the other beauty item that I have also been using which I showed briefly in my Sephora haul the last video that I did for you guys and that is the Kat Von D makeup um, I think I had mentioned to you previously that I'm a huge fan of MAC eyeshadow, or MAC eyeshadows, well, not what I was trying to say. I do love matte eyeshadows, and this entire palette is matte, and I did have someone request to do a full um, review and swatch. I did swatch it in that video, but if you guys would like to see a makeup look done with this, um, and want more of my thoughts on what I think of the palette, I'd be happy to do that. Just comment below and let me know. But I have constantly been using this because it's such a great, wonderful, easy palette to use. I mean, it's got so many of the browns, and I like that it's got a purple and a navy for fall, which are really hot colors. So it's pretty versatile. It goes with just about anything, and that's why I'm constantly using this. I also have a lot of fall fashion clothing that, of course, I've been wearing as of September. But I didn't want to include it in my favorites only because I figured I could make a separate video for you guys if you wanted to see what clothing I was wearing and what I purchased for the fall time and what I've been loving because um, I do have a lot of classics in my wardrobe so every season I just like to invest in some inexpensive pieces to kind of update my wardrobe for fall and make it fresh again for that season without going broke. 
um, on clothing because it rotates so quickly, um, especially for, you know, trendier items. So if you guys want me to do a video like that, maybe my next one, just comment below, let me know. I'm happy to do that for you guys. The first accessory is this a lovely bag. This is my Zach Posen Z Spoke, and yes, I know it is more expensive. Um, I'm not normally someone to purchase inexpensive handbags. I'll wait like a year or two and invest in one that's more pricey. Um, just because I'll use them until you literally can't and they fall apart in crazy doses like the handles falling off and the leathers worn out and whatever so I think that they're great investment pieces and this one I absolutely love I love the green the purple the brown and then the back side is green as well so it has a double zipper and a double whoops double handle and then it's also got a crossbody um, leather piece to it as well so it's a great bag it's huge and this is actually really heavy right now because I'm like a gypsy everywhere I go when I'm seeing clients that like carry my life in my bag and store snacks and all sorts of stuff <laughs> so even if you guys want to see what's in my bag I know a lot of youtubers do that I will show you all the good bad and the ugly in my bag because it's so heavy and those girls that carry like nothing in their bag I don't know how you do it, honey. I did actually purchase one expensive handbag as a kind of trendy item. Um, and the original, initial reason I purchased it was actually for a poll for a fashion segment I was doing for television, but thought it was so cute and it was such a good deal, so I couldn't pass the opportunity to just keep it. This handbag from Forever 21, this is $19, crazy. But I love the black and gold hardware detailing. I think it's adorable. And quilting is very hot for fall, so it's a great um, trend. And I don't have a handbag that's quilted. Um, I'm not normally someone that wears a lot of black, although, haha, I know I'm wearing it now. Well, I don't even know what I'm trying to say. It was just really cute, and I wanted to keep it. And the other thing that I like about it is it also turns into a crossbody body bag as well. It has this really great chain detailing down the side of it, too. So, and I like to be able to sling my bags over my shoulder when I'm kind of on the run and on the go, but $19. Now the last two items in my favorites are my babies. Um, I haven't even gotten a chance, These both of them are shoes, but the one I haven't got a chance to wear, but they're still my favorite because I only just got them a couple days ago and I'm gonna wear them to death, so I wanted to show you anyway. The first are these gorgeous uh, shoes from Zara, or I guess I should say booties. So they're cutout booties, how cute is that? Um, they were $69, so a really good deal for a little booty, <clears throat> but I love the cutouts on them. It is absolutely stunning, so it's got a leather detail on the side, and then the rest of it is suede, and the heel itself is about four and a half inches. So versatile, you can, you can, I mean, black shoes go with everything, but this is just so incredibly chic, and you, I will get unlimited wear from this. I could wear it with pants, skirts, um, cropped pants, shorts, <clears throat> dresses, whatever. Um, but I was so excited about this. It's just absolutely incredible. So, yay! So the last part of my favorites that I told you guys was another pair of shoes or boots. Uh, I'm sure many of you last season saw Kim Kardashian wearing the Givenchy Shark Something boots. I can't remember the full title of them. Um, they're gorgeous. It's a slouchy kind of oversized boot. And Aldo Canada, or Aldo they are a Canadian company, has recreated this boot in a less expensive version. The Givenchy boots went for about $1,800, which all the power to the women that want to drop money like that on a shoe. I think it's awesome because the quality is, of course, bar none. Um, but this is also beautiful, also made of leather. And these are by Aldo and are only $200. So fan freaking tastic um, I love the overlay on the boot that kind of slips over the wedge here and I'm not sure why but when you wear it this comes down even a little bit farther I'm not sure why it works out to be that way um, and then I love the buckles that are at the top of this kind of goes into that biker trend that we've been seeing everywhere and all the leather of course that goes along with it so really really happy about that I have been wearing these um, with leather or with leather okay well you can wear it with leather but with, you can put it with leggings a skirt pants, skinny jeans, um, a dress, like the options are endless. Um, cause of course it's just like a boot. It's just got, it is more slouchy than other ones. I think these are so sexy. They are my favorite boot for fall along with those cutout ones. So I'm going to be wearing these all the time. Um, so yeah, so that was the last of my favorites for the month of September. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, if you want to see more of the fall clothing that I was talking about that I had purchased, and it is more of an, it would be more of an inexpensive 
haul um, of things I kind of use to update my wardrobe for the season, please comment below. Let me know. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. And otherwise, I will chat to all of you guys next week. See you later.